into social misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on LA Talk Radio. I'm so confused. He kept, he kept doing this. I'm like, I'm, I'm so looking confused. for the sign to start, and he kept sticking his head. And I don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I know people are always like, why the fuck do they start the show laughing? We always do dumb shit I wanna, like I don't right know. before. Can they see? Like, because I'm sitting here going on. Uh, no, I don't think until after until, um, uh, okay. the music stops. <laughs> but they can hear us if we're talking while the music's going. <laughs> so that's why I'm up here trying to hold my laughter. This fool's going like this we're the whole so time. so unprofessional on live, Yo. on a live show. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Social Misconduct. I am Mick. That's <coughs> B. Walt. Excuse me. I told him he looks like a 12 year old. what I say? That just got out of juvie? Something like that. <laughs> I don't pay attention to you. I always have some type of description for what he's wearing or like how he looks for the day. I'm like, I look like a grown ass man that just crawled out of bed right no. now. No. No. Yes. No. I'm going to wear this. Stuff you look today, like, you so. know, the kid that get facial hair way too soon. <laughs> 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 That's what you look like right now. You look like he about 14, but, but he got like a whole. Six, <laughs> <laughs> like LeBron. Remember Le- when LeBron first got in the NBA? He looked old. Well, he still looked old, but like, how That's, old was he? That's because he had those those grown man. But what, what was he like? Nineteen or something he when he like first 18, 18, 19. 19. He looked old as fuck. I was like, how old is this nigga? He like thirty. <laughs> like how the fuck? He ain't eighteen. <laughs> LeBron look old as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Button. <and> yes. <laughs> Show who Benjamin Button ass. Uh, Reverse Benjamin Button. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, mm-hmm. I don't really have a highlight story today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still recovering from Columbia. Um, <laughs> I think I'm back on track now. White girl. But I'm still recovering from Columbia. Shut up. I was tired as hell. Like, I don't know, just traveling just takes a lot out of you. So I'm kind of back to normal now. Um, you, so you, you sniffed up all the white girl? Shut you know, no white girl left. up. Don't be making mind. people think that I do drugs. Don't nobody believe half the shit to come out of my mouth. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. <laughs> In the words of the late, great Whitney Houston. Crack, crack is, is whack. Crack is whack. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at home working last night. And um, like usual, I either need a glass of wine or a cocktail. Or both. Shut up. I've been experimenting <laughs> lately because I'm trying to build a bar at home and I'm creating drinks because eventually that's going to turn into a book. Well, part of a book that I am, a lifestyle book that I am, you know. Why don't you just get your bartender license then? Working on, I may actually. Um, so I'm just at home and I'm like, my aunt, when I was in Chicago, my aunt bought this watermelon cucumber juice. I know it sounds weird. But she bought that to my sister's that house. like an uppity black people drink. Watermelon, I mean, cucumber juice. You know how I do. Um, so, you know, that's right up my alley. Watermelon, cucumber juice. So she had it at my sister's house when I was in Chicago. So I was in Trader Joe's buying wine, of course, the other day. And I saw the juice. And I'm like, oh, that's the juice. So I got it. So I remembered it was in my fridge. And I'm like, hmm, that would be good with some vodka. Because what isn't good? Everything with, goes Exactly, with right? I put vodka in my raisin bran. So, you know, one of my favorite drinks is a Moscow Mule. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> what can I do with this? I can make a Moscow Mule, but with this juice. So I ended up creating a watermelon cucumber Moscow Mule. The shit was bomb. Now we need a better name than that. I know. I was so, like, not creative last night because I probably was drunk. <laughs> um it is on lubellifestyle.com if you all want to take a look at what I used and all of that good stuff describing the drink. So you can check that out on that website. But yeah, I probably should come up with a real name. Again, I wasn't creative because I was tired, mixed with drunk last night. Watermelon, cucumber, Moscow, Moscow meal. meal. Yeah, that's too long. We have to, yeah, yeah, work on it. Okay. We'll work on it. But anyway, so it was like a regular, like a, a basic Moscow Mule is just vodka, ginger beer, which is bomb. I love that shit. I put that in everything. Have you had ginger beer? 
Yeah, and then the homies tease me like that's a bitch drink. That so shit's only well, that it's a mixer though. It's not a drink. It's more like a I've mixer. I've seen people order ginger beer straight really? up and just drink that shit. Because like, you know there's an man. alcoholic ginger beer and there's a non-alcoholic ginger beer. No, the the alcoholic ginger beer is still a bitch drink. And my homie, I oh got a homie God. drinking that shit. We be looking at him like, really? Dude? Yeah, that's weird to you just drink by on that shit? Like, Why are you fucking with that? Yeah, I only use it as a mixer. So Moscow Mule is just vodka, ginger beer, and lime juice. That's a basic Moscow Mule. So I took it a step further. <laughs> And I added the watermelon cucumber and I added some mint to it. Put my lime juice, vodka, ginger beer. Shit was bomb. It was so fucking good. So, you know, I had multiple. <laughs> so, yeah, it was great. Um, try it, people. See, I'm a lazy Thank drinker. Me later. I'm a lazy drinker. I want it simple. Yeah, I want you ain't doing all that. Me, and I actually have been a bartender. I just, nah. Yeah, you're not doing it. He just, Whiskey straight, yep. homie. Chase him with a beer. That's all he doing. He ain't we, doing we, all that. We cool. <laughs> I mean, I ain't cut up this and then nah, I'm straight. Fuck that. I'll be in there experimenting, adding shit. Like, you see, that's how people get in trouble. You get drunk and you don't know true. you're drunk, and then you in there doing <laughs> and sneak shit. up on you, and you put too you much liquor. Saying? Yeah, and you know I have to have the fancy copper mugs that a Moscow. Do you use. have the, the copper? I, mugs? I do. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. So I have those. I took a picture of it. I put it on my Insta. So it's there. Your Insta. Graham. Yes. <sighs> Jesus, you're so old. So it's there, and like I said, it's on Lubell. It's on there right now. The picture, yeah. Shit, keep talking. I'm gonna see that. And then on Lubell Lifestyle Instagram, you can see what I put in it. So I took a picture of this. That's fresh. Yeah, and then I just kind of explained it more in the write up of it on LubellLifestyle.com. So. That's the type of things that you all can expect on that website. You may as well just become a bartender. My do attention it, span, though, to, like, sit in a class. I don't like tests and shit. Like, I don't like shit like that. Yeah. I, still, I don't. I'm not. Mm, you know, I, I still know. got one class left. I know. Right? I still like, got one class left. I just Nikki and I, I want to say it's this week, this Thursday, we're taking a class to make some peppers or something. Nikki, I, I forgot what the hell we doing. We making peppers. Like, I don't know. She always getting me into some shit. <laughs> We doing some Thursday, and then we're going to see Purple Rain at the Hollywood Cemetery this weekend. Yeah, have fun with that. We will. <laughs> I've seen a few shows at the Hollywood Cemetery. It's just, uh, so it's, we will be doing that on Saturday. I want to say. Why can't I remember shit that we're doing, Nikki? Because you old as fuck. Whatever. Just like me. That's why I put everything in a calendar. I'm not old, and I use a calendar too. That's who I saw this weekend. Who? Mm. Oh, <laughs> that goofy ass laughs. My favorite, laughs my smile. favorite, my favorite person, Miss Carlina. Yeah, Bridge. yeah, my favorite guest <laughs> we've ever had on here. She is becoming a hell of an actor. Yeah, she and is. So they were doing a showcase not too far from here, actually. Uh, mm. What is it called? Playhouse, Playhouse. Mm-hmm. West or something. Yep. You remember we went last year and her teacher called me a prototypical hipster, whatever that means. But <laughs> this time they were doing like drama and shit. It was really cool. And I uh, dragged uh, Jordan with me, no. the manager, <laughs> our, our manager. <laughs> and uh, Carlina was really good. So skits, yeah, like they quick. Just, they were oh, doing okay. very like, was dramatic it improv? skits. Dramatic, no. Oh, they were dramatic okay. skits. And this one girl, man, she was so good. Like, like, dude, I swear to God, my I, I, uh, eye water was <laughs> like. Like she was crying and, 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 and just into it and you could just see this pain on her face and it was just man, like I was really sad. Like I was like, Man, I might need to walk the fuck up out of here for a minute. <laughs> That's a good actress. Yo, she's then. Good. If, she, like, if I'm telling they you, can pull emotion out of you, then they're shit. they're good. Right. If she keeps up with it, dude, you'll see her somewhere. You'll see her somewhere. She was really fucking good. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. So. I told um Carlina when she was my client that she would go a long way. And look at her like oh she was really good too i mean she's in movies she's in that goofy ass movie i want to see i still haven't seen it yet the, the, it's like a justin bieber spoof or like i a, forgot the, it's about a pop is it called pop star i think it's called pop star she's in that never never stop never stopping I think that's she's what in that called. and you know she's a regular on that show where she's dancing and on that show then, with ll uh, cool j the lip sync battle yes so she's a regular on that she's just blowing up she's doing her thing so 
She will be back soon. Yo, so. yo, her, scene, her scene was dope. Her scene was dope, but I was glad you weren't there because it would have given you way too many ideas. She basically was pissed off at her dude. Oh, shit. And she, man, yo, she had like a hammer. Like, she was going at it. And I felt bad for the dude that was playing her man. Like, she going to fuck around and kill him. Like, oh, my God. But it was good, though. It was really her good. boyfriend was in the audience, so he probably was over there scared. He was, he was in the front, like. <laughs> Don't piss off. Right. Oh my God! Oh, Nikki said that we're pickling jalapenos. Pickling jalapenos. Mm hmm. On Thursday, it's a class. It's like a cool class where they show you how to do shit. It's cute. So I'll talk about it next week. Pickling jalapenos. <laughs> yes, we find ourselves doing just random shit. We like to stay busy and do y'all like things. y'all like Sex in the City without <laughs> the other two chicks. <laughs> With no sex, <laughs> y'all need like two. Y'all, like, you need like two more girls. You need the neurotic one and the girl that fucks That's everybody. Too many bitches. I'm good. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm good. One, Nikki's good. We good. Me and her. I don't need no more hoes. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> what was it? What was it? The that show that came out that was supposed to be the the black equivalent of Sex and the Girlfriends. City? That's what. It well, was. no, that was scripted though. I mean, it was more like a, I didn't mean scripted. It was more of a sitcom is what I meant to say. Oh, Sex and the City was funny. Yes. Yeah. But I guess Girlfriends would be considered the black. The black version. Yeah. I like Girlfriends better. You know, I'm a Sex and the City fan. I like Girlfriends too, don't get me wrong. I liked it better. Anywho, I wouldn't say better, but I liked both. That's you. That's you and Nikki. You and Nikki and two random. No, two randoms. We good. We don't need the other two. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. We're just Nikki and Mick. That's all we are. <laughs> <laughs> we good by our damn selves. No, I, no, but Chonka had like you know like the the real light skinned chick, the, the bubbly light skinned girl with absolutely the, not with the fake hair. Nope. The thing she white. No. You know well, I'm kind of sort of light skinned with fake hair, so <laughs> I got that covered. We good. And you fake, gotta have no. you gotta have like the token white girl too. No. Nope. group. We're good. The thing she down. Nope. Hell What's up, no. Girl? Nope. She be white as fuck talking about, hey, sister. No, you know have you met me and Nikki? Like, the fuck? <laughs> that would I'm never trying fly. to put together a sitcom for the four of y'all right that now. That would never fly with us. We would never allow that because we would both be looking at her and each other like, hell no. Mm-mm. But that's where the comedy would ensue. <laughs> Let's work on that. We'll write that <laughs> script. Okay. Fine. God. Okay, I guess we should get started with these motherfuckers. This shit. This guy here, though. Like, I love him. Yeah. Like, I'm mad that they, they haters, man. <laughs> <sighs> So these cops are haters. This dude wanted to kill Donald Trump. <laughs> he was dead ass serious. In Vegas, a twenty year old man who they said he had autism and some other shit going on with him. Yeah. Uh, got it in his OCD head. OCD and autism. Yeah, he got it in his head a year ago that he was gonna wait for Donald Trump to get to Vegas and was gonna try to pop his ass. He planned that shit. Yo, he went. Michael Stevens Sanford went to the Trump rally. He's only twenty years old. He went to this Trump rally, and his plan was to take a gun. From a cop and pop Donald Trump. He and even went to the gun range and practice. to practice. The day was it the day <laughs> before, a week before. So he had this shit planned out for a whole year. He did. And get this. He ain't even from here. Nah. He's not even a citizen, like a US citizen. That's why he wanted to pop him, because he's living here illegally. <laughs> but here's the thing, bro, because you're a white boy. Donald's oh, people God. wouldn't have came looking for you, but I still True. I still appreciate that. I effort. do too. I appreciate you. Um and he and, and they they were interviewing a guy and after the fact he was like, Well, you know, if if for whatever reason Vegas didn't work, I had bought tickets to his rally in Phoenix. <laughs> he did, he was gonna try that I was gonna try again. to roll up on him in Phoenix too. He dead ass serious. Yo. And he said if um if I didn't get arrested, if I was put on the street tomorrow, I would fucking try it again like he I love ain't him. fucking around with like he wants donald dead and, and, along with other people but he actually tried and he's a he's an illegal immigrant yeah too he's from the uk somewhere yeah. i don't remember exactly but he don't want to get kicked out so he was like look look donald gotta go shit's hilarious he was so serious poor thing hey he don't he ain't gotta worry though man i mean all this crazy shit donald talking he probably won't last long anyway no you know what i'm saying Somebody's bound. If he wins, somebody working for him is gonna get his ass. True. I ain't too. Oh, well, I'm worried. Are you worried about him getting elected? Yes, I am. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stupid rednecks in this country. Like I am actually worried. And when Obama walks out, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I get more and more sad like, as the year ends. 
Because when do they like leave January, right? I mean, November is the election, but January is yeah, when. Yeah, they chill for about. I'm going to be sad as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm just not ready. I don't even want to talk about Hillary it. Hillary better step her fucking game up, Joe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hillary better do it. She the lesser of two evils, man. Bitch be nervous. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Could you imagine Donald Trump as the president? No, I don't want to. No. Fuck no. Japan. Fuck those guys. Fuck them. That's oh, my Donald Trump impersonation. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, he looked like a fucking Cheeto with a with a dead cat on. Okay, his this head. is off topic, really quick. Did you hear about or see a picture of Kanye West's new video? With those dummies? <sighs> yes. Look. People that I know from L.A., stop coming up to me asking me if that's how Chicago dudes get down. No, no we don't all do that wild shit. Absolutely not. That no. motherfucker's crazy. Kanye is in the Kardashian clan. That says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very Hollywood. So, hell no. That's not Chicago. I'm, t- I'm tired of people coming up to me asking me that. Man, you know, just everybody from Chicago act like Kanye. First of all, we could argue whether or not he's really from Chicago, number well, one, number two. he's not born and raised. Right. Well, Ray's not born. He's right. born in Atlanta. Right. Well, Why not, do I know these facts about well, Kanye? Well, number two, we don't do that. Chicago dudes, from where I'm from, we don't Real do that. Chicago dudes, no. Nah, we ain't wearing shirts with holes in them that we pay $400 for. If our nope. shirt got a hole in it, it's because we had it's that shit forever. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, look. <laughs> <laughs> But that's true. <laughs> I ain't paying somebody to fuck my clothes up. It only made me think of the video because Donald Trump is one of the dummies laying in the bed. This fucking guy. But you know, man. he took it from a painting. Like the idea. Kanye, listen. Kanye West's thinking sometimes is beyond a lot of people. So he'll do his research. You know, I get that. Some of the music he samples, all of that musically, he is good. Personally, the motherfucker's crazy. That's all that I'm saying. All, I thought the, the shit was funny as fuck because right? I personally hate Taylor Swift. So the fact that <laughs> it was a little dig at her and you know he mentions her in the song was great for me. But you know, whatever. Moving right along with these fucking idiots. Fucking Kanye, man. Kanye's crazy. All right, so this man thought it was a good idea to put 1,500 gallon. Fill a 1,500-gallon pool with Coca-Cola and Mentos. But why the Mentos? I understand the Coca-Cola. Uh, cooling sense? Oh, and ice. I don't... You understand the Coca-Cola. I understand the Coca-Cola. Okay. I don't understand any of this weird shit. I, mm. When you were okay. a kid, did you ever watch DuckTales? Yes, I love DuckTales. Remember how he would go swimming around in the money and shit? I do remember that. Yeah, so maybe... This is Coca-Cola, though, and it's sticky as fuck gross. Just... Especially as a woman, <laughs> yeast infections for like the rest of the year. Uh, that's all I'm the saying. The rest of the year? Yes. I'm good. Hell no. Nope. Uh, no thanks. Um, the video so is hilarious though. Look at this I, I watched it. So they just did this for shits and giggles. Tex Rex. Tech Rex is his name on YouTube. So he's a video blogger. Um, that goes under that name. And, um, yeah, he just thought this would be fun. So How they many? did it and filmed it. And his whole vlog is about destroying technology. So how is this destroying technology? So at the end, he put a drone, a phantom drone, into the pool and watched it die. Okay. This he's, is like, he's a YouTube guy? Yes. Does he have a huge following? He does. So, um a big one and the shit types of shit makes me really really fucking mad this one video was seen more than eight million times eight million and two if you count us because <sighs> i watched it too jesus it'd be dumb shit like this i'd be feeling like i have good content and shit to say <laughs> but let me post some real shit jump on into jump into a motherfucking vat of but people Coca-Cola. do dumb shit like this and they get eight million views jump, I just, jump into some coca-cola but apparently he's pretty fucking big on YouTube. I didn't go to his page to see how many followers he has, but the video alone got eight mil. So they said he swam around in it for twenty minutes. But why? Like I don't understand why. Like he knew he was gonna talk about him. That's why he did it. Ugh. He wanted to be mentioned on social well, misconduct. He's mentioning Huffington Post and social misconduct. I don't get it. Whatever. That just looks so gross. It's disgusting. And he's like, "Oh, I was sticky. No shit." <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. This shit. 
Should I go ahead? Yes. <sighs> Gross. I would love to talk about it when my computer's being a bitch. Okay, oh. here we go. Man sentenced to 40 years for throwing feces in court. How did he get it in there? How did he sneak it in there? He had, he injured himself and he has a cast or like a sling, his arms in a sling, and he kind of stuffed it in there. And apparently they didn't search him well enough. They couldn't smell it? I think it was in a bag. You just smell like Dookie just walking to the corner? No, I think they said it was in a baggie or something. Yeah, Dookie and baggies. Okay. So, oh, pill bottle. Sorry. Oh, pill okay. Bottles, all right. So bottles. that will that that'll that'll, that'll kill mask some the smell. smell. A so, lot of a lot of weed smokers use those. That's true. <laughs> so this dude in Springfield, Ohio, whose name really doesn't matter to me, got sentenced to forty years for armed robberies. After finding out he got sentenced to forty years, he looks at the fucking judge and says, "Really?" That video was funny. Really, <laughs> really, sir, you gave me forty, 40 fucking years. years? <laughs> He's like, "That's life," because he already forty six. So add forty to that. He like. Bruh, um, but don't commit crimes. I don't like that. I mean, that's that's a thought. Yeah. Don't do illegal shit. So he gets mad at the lawyer for because he got forty years. Reached into his little sling, pulled out the pill bottle, opened that shit up, and tossed shit and pee at the lawyer. Before clearly, you probably added more time. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter at this. He thinks he's going to die there. You know? Right. It doesn't matter at this point. So I saw another article. I mean, it was this article, but somewhere else, and it was an, a name for this shit. You know how prison term. Oh, but when, they, I can't when they attack somebody with it. feces? Yeah. Yeah, he's setting a precedent now because people watching that shit like, that's the dude. No, the- this is like a thing, apparently, and it's like a name for it. And I f- totally couldn't find it right before the show, but it's a name. I'm going to try to find it. Yeah, they use it, they, use it, they use it as, as a weapon. That is disgusting. People in prison use anything for as a weapon. I saw one time they Hold got on. a hold of a uh, what is that a paper roll for shit paper for toilet paper, mm-hmm. and he took it out and he and he like cut it in half and then he s- sat it up under a mattress until it dried. He wet it up to to so he could form it into a shape of a knife and Holy did it with a bunch shit. of them. Did it with maybe you got to get six creative. Seven of them. Sharpened it after it dried and was using that shit as a shank. They don't fuck around, they man. They don't. They That's don't. Just fuck why around. I can never go there. <laughs> You got you got dudes making weapons out of fucking toilet paper. You got dudes throwing shit at people. It's I'm not good. a nice place. I'm good. Nope. Mm-mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't survive. Well, I could survive, but I don't uh, want to. I don't even want to test it out. That's one of those. Nope. I ain't even testing it. Yeah, out. I don't want to test it out. I ain't a little dude. I know how to lift a little bit, but I would be somebody's bitch because I'm light skinned. It. That, that's a wrap. So in Wiki, they're saying it's called gas gassing. Gassing. Which is prison slang. Gassing, also known as chucking. <laughs> it's prison slang for the act of throwing, throwing feces or some other bodily fluid such as urine blood or saliva at a jail or prison staff member so yeah apparently they the guards get it all yeah they do this often it's a prison thing that's gross yeah Learn something have, new every day i would have to kill you yeah me too that's disgusting. and i'd be right i'd be in there right next to him so yeah Mm-mm. there's that nah we cool Mm-mm. And said that he could face a new felony charge. I think. Who cares? He don't give a fuck. It's not like he's ever gonna run out of dookie. They gotta feed him, so he's always <laughs> right? gonna have weapons. <laughs> don't give a fuck. Wow. They gonna they gonna watch him when he's in the bathroom. Oh, uh, they do. From what I hear, they watch you, <laughs> depending on what you've done. Wow. Yeah, that wow. was gross. And we have another. Forty years. Forty years. <laughs> and don't we have another shit story? Not yet, but we have another one. Do we? Yes. This one's dumb. Ronald McDonald. A man named Ronald McDonald got shot outside of a Sonic restaurant. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Why would you name your child Ronald if your last name is McDonald? Right. You got to know. I mean, come the, on. Fucking, you can, the fucking clown's been around since, what, the 50s? And this man's 35. So, come on. He had no chance in life. His parents fucked him. Why would you do that to him? <laughs> so, no wonder he's shooting people because... Like, but he got shot. No, it was said it was a shootout. So then they both get shot. <laughs> a shootout means two people have weapons, but I think True. Ronald McDonald was the guy that oh, got wounded. Oh, okay. Outside of a Sonic. And wasn't it with an employee? Well, his wife worked at the Sonic. He went up there starting static and shit, you know, talking crazy. And then he got into it with somebody up at the Sonic. And next thing you know, pop, pop. 
pop. And people just carry guns around, huh? Just in North Carolina. They just got guns just to be shooting out. Like, both of them had guns? Like, that's crazy. I read this story, and you know the first thing popped in my head, man. I'm thinking the clown got popped. Me too. So when I first saw this, I'm like, somebody didn't shot Ronald McDonald? (laughs) I mean, he is killing people, but at the same time. (laughs) Damn. He didn't deserve that shit. Oh but my no, god. Apparently apparently the guy's name is Ronald McDonald. And no, it says he was arguing with a twenty four year old Sonic employee. Yeah. So why did the employee have a gun? He worked at Sonic. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Have you ever been to Sonic? Yes. Mm-hmm. Didn't they have one down in Champagne? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That is not funny. Well, they didn't die, so it's funny. They all right. <laughs> I said non life threatening injuries. They just fucking idiots. So it's funny. <laughs> so, yes, this is the other poop story, which is fucking disgusting, even more disgusting than the other one. So, as we all know, the Cavs won. You know, I don't watch NBA championship sports. game seven. I knew that much that they won. El Breezy uh, held it down. So, old face <laughs> LeBron James won. Old face El Breezy. Um, so, yes, in the celebration the parade, the victory parade that they had, this man got really happy and um, you know how the cops walk around on the horses, Mm -hmm. you know, patrolling with parades and shit Mm because it's easier to be on a horse than in a car. So he just got happy and he picked up some of the horse shit and, you know, he ate it. I don't know why. Why would one do that? That's disgusting. But he did it. Um, And he was happy about it. He was like dancing around, clearly high off something. Oh no! He well, tossed it and he tossed that shit in the air and caught it in his mouth. Like oh, you didn't watch the video? No, no, I didn't see that. No, the video didn't go that. Oh long. yeah, so he did that. Disgusted. Uh-huh. Yes, he tossed that shit like it was a, a gumdrop for some shit. Like, <laughs> and everybody around him like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you that happy? Like, no. They was filming Let's that just shit go get too. A drink. Like Look, this. This only goes eighteen seconds. I in, know. And they were filming him eat the dookie. Yes. That's gross. I'm not even going to be that close to you if you're doing shit like that. And he that's... was walking around holding a piece yes. of his hands. It was big shit. It's horse shit. You know <laughs> how big shit. that is. Like, that's disgusting. That is horse shit. What the fuck is he doing that shit for? That's stupid as hell, Dumb dude. Dumb as fuck. I can't. I don't Well, you know, it. apparently Cleveland hadn't won a championship since 19... No, you know, I would not know the history. So. 60s? Oh, 60s? shit. I want to say it's the 60s. So Ohio 64, was like, maybe? yes, LeBron. <laughs> Don't quote me on that because this ain't a sports show, but I want to say 1960s. And they said that he's staying, right? Well, he said he's staying in Ohio. Who cares? They want to now. I don't watch sports. I don't give a fuck. Next thing you know, LeBron be on the Bulls. Hopefully. Hopefully. Come on. Well, since what's his name? Got traded. That's some. Bu- look, let's not. You know what? That's why this ain't a sports <laughs> show. I'm fucking around, flip some tables over. See, and I don't give a fuck. And all and all my homies, I got a homie back home that loves to be contrary, just for the for the sake of being contrary. Talking about, wow, that's a business move. He traded uh, fucking Derrick Rose to the Knicks, but we got fucking food stamps, a lollipop, and some fucking envelopes <laughs> for him. We ain't get shit for him. <laughs> And Again, watch, this is out of my realm. Watch I this don't fool. Give a okay. Fuck about sports. <laughs> watch this fool kill next year too. You heard me say it first before this dude even. So he was injured all the time in Chicago, but he go to the Knicks. He go he gonna kill gonna murder. Shit. Watch. Oh my god. Watch. I just know my timeline was filled with that. That's the only reason why I know this information because I'm from Chicago and people were pissed and I again don't give a fuck. So But the but the homie that was talking shit, well, that's a good business. Well man, fuck that shit. He's from Chicago, he played for Chicago, so it's like losing like family when he has to go I to another you. team. Anyway, this ain't a sports show. People were mad. That I was, was funny. pissed about that shit. So what's up with people whipping their dicks out in public places? Because uh, we did a show last week about the Waffle House and the man, remember, w- w- put his oh, dick yeah. on the window? <laughs> so this time, there's a story about a man in Seattle at a supermarket was in line at the checkout. <laughs> I hate you right now. Cashiers, you know, ready to ring them up. And what's on her scanner? His dick. Really? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sir, put your penis away. Why would 
would you put your penis on the scanner? Was he sliding it trying to get it to ring up? Probably. Like you he, was your Ralph's card. he was you didn't laughing. He was laughing. Wow. It said that when the manager came, the suspect was laughing and didn't make any attempts to stow away <laughs> his blatantly exposed genitalia. I cannot. Man. You just whip your dick out. Like, scan it. What? Who? Oh, my God. Hey, that's all we got. That's all Jesus. man got. That's all we got. If he's that proud of it, then he wants to break it oh out. Oh, my God. Does it say the name of the store he was in? What store? It just says the Seattle supermarket. Mm. Oh, my God. His name's Christian. Oh, it Christian? did. Quality Food Center. <laughs> Quality Food Center. Oh, man. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> I know. Like, what did you think? <laughs> and he just found it so amusing. Yo. What drugs are you on? Okay. Last story before the segment. You got it or you want me Dummies to? Dummies arrested after bragging about allegedly burglarizing some people on so Facebook. So I'm going to say it. They niggas. I said them for Jesus. you. That's some nigga shit. Nigga shit. Jesus, why? Only, only black people, you know, and I can say this shit. Only why? black people would do something that I fucking know. stupid. Are you fucking why? kidding me? You yeah. gonna, you gonna rob a bunch of people and then post it on Facebook and then blame Facebook for you getting caught? They you said stupid Facebook motherfucker! You stupid motherfucker! You dumb son of a bitch! You and your homie, y'all both stupid no. as fuck. And the third dude that got away, you dumb as fuck too. They said Facebook was a snitch. Facebook <laughs> snitching? No, you snitching. You put it up there. And then they said that they stole over five hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry, and they sold the shit for thirteen hundred dollars. And you can't count. <laughs> Fucking idiot! Look, look, look! For the would be for the would be criminals out here, Jesus. for the would be criminals out here, any government law enforcement agency can look on Facebook or Instagram. Any, all. I don't. Why the people? biggest criminals? The biggest criminals don't post shit because they don't have to. The biggest criminals don't brag. No, you they keep a low profile. Fuck. Fucking idiot. You stupid as fuck. But see, you know what? They need to get caught. Yes, they deserve. We don't need shit. more dumb people no. running around. You stupid no. as fuck. Five hundred thousand dollars and you got thirteen hundred. <sighs> I can't even do the percentage of that in my head. It's right? Dumb, next to nothing. Like Redarius. You know he black, just from that name. Radarius Stupid. Glenn Collins and what was the other guy name? Marcus uh, Terrell Parker. They said, they said the full name. See, black people, they put the full names out there. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yes, dumbasses. I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it, man. Like, okay, I've seen people post, like, pounds and pounds of illegal shit on their Facebook pages. Like, why do you do that? You know what I'm saying? It's stupid. I know. Smoke and drink. I don't know. Whatever. I can't. Uh, so moving on because I can't deal. Because <laughs> my people. Jesus. Stupid. I'm just glad I got another race to fall back on. <laughs> wow. I said it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> wow. I switch back and forth all the goddamn Depending time. Depending on what's going Hell on. Hell yeah. Beyonce concert. I'm black. I'm black. And maybe one day I'm Mexican. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so you got a lot of races to fall back on. Yeah, but I associate with black folks. I that's do why, too. That's why it hurts. That's why it hurts when I see stupid. Like, I know. Because they probably with black people they probably too. grew up in similar situations that uh, we did, right? Absolutely. But I, I'm from the absolute fucking hood in Chicago, West Side, like hood, like. Real, but real quick, damn, real quick before we get into this this segment, I grew up. I mean, I went to a private school. It was still in the hood, but I went to a private school, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of people that went there that did like shady shit like they so i grew and up with people that. that did but they was smart about how they about did it, it. like yes. i knew a dude that had a bottle like this that had false bottoms in it yeah so he would you know and he wouldn't have put it on facebook no dumb motherfuckers <sighs> not to be giving people ideas out there <laughs> i'm just saying like uh, we got that from social discussion. i'm just saying but don't don't no. don't make it that fucking easy like i know stupid or right, okay so this list was quite entertaining to Yo. me. I thought this shit was fake at first. I had to, because some of the stuff was so funny to me. Just how how they simplified this, it was just hilarious to me. So who, did, who found this? You did. I found this one. <laughs> so it says that science exposes people most likely to cheat in relationships. So like the <laughs> types of people. <laughs> this shit's funny to me. 
Number one, female teacher. I laughed just starting reading this shit. The picture of the woman made me laugh. (laughs) Female teacher. She looked like the Brady Bunch's mama. What's her name? Carol Brady. There we go. Yeah. Oh, my God. This shit said infidelity-based dating site Ashley Madison, which we did a story on a while back. They completed a study that showed one of the top professions for wives who cheat is a teacher. Did I ever tell you about the homie to sign up for Ashley Madison and still couldn't get no women? Like you own a no. site for cheating women and he couldn't get nobody. No. Yeah. You well, actually, me. he ain't the homie no more. That's why I'm blasting oh, him right Oh, yeah, this. you ain't tell me that. Yeah, I'll tell you later. He's a fucking clown. But number two makes sense, though. What's number two? I know. The way this article is, people who have already cheated. You just got to kind of keep scrolling. Uh, there you go. Right there. This guy. Yeah. So people who have already cheated. Now that makes sense. Research from the University of Alabama showed that people who have a history of cheating are more likely to continue to do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. That one made know. sense. Kinky partners. Kinky partners. Mm-hmm. So Mary Jo Rapney, an intimacy expert, says that a man who is cheating on you will all of a sudden perk up in the bedroom Rapney claims that the man's sex drive will increase because of his mistress, but when she isn't around, he will return to his wife. That makes sense to me. Uh, I think that works both ways. Well, yeah. I mean, then why she just put a man on that? Women do the same shit. Women are biased. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Of course we're going to say the man. But here's the thing. Of here's course the, it works both ways. Here's the thing that's so stupid, though, right? Like, so, like... Women will read this article and be like, okay, now I'm paying attention to see if this dude tries some freaky shit. If a girl comes home and she's doing some shit she ain't ever done before, we're just going to be like. That's true. But y'all stupid, though. Right. We're not going to think that. But it's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to be like, yeah. Because she probably still turned on from the nasty shit she just did with her side chick. I mean, her side (laughs) side dude. Her side dude or chick. Yeah, hey. And now she coming home because she's still in the mood. And y'all like, shit, we ain't going to question free head. Like, just head. Just I ain't got to ask for it. I got a question to pose, and people can email me the answers. I'm curious, and this is for guys. Mm -hmm. Like, if you found out that your chick was messing with a chick, would that upset you? Like, I, I really want to know. Cause some, some dudes say yes. Some dudes be, be mad. like turned on. So, and they want a threesome. Now. I remember back in the 90s, it was like a huge thing. All those music videos came out with like someone sleeping in my bed. And it yeah. was like a chick dealing with another chick cheating on her man. I'm curious as to whether or not dudes would let that ride. No. I think it's 50-50. You think so? Well, no, I don't think it's 50-50. I think most dudes would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they can fuck the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Keep it real. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Most men, the first thing you think of with two women are threesome. Like that's just the first thing men think of. But so. what if? But what if the friend is busted though? Oh, that changes things. That what if you walk in things. and the friend look like a dude? Yeah. Like then what? I don't know. Again, you're gonna be mad. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> what the fuck? But if it was like, I don't know, some Beyonce looking you're like right. or some. Right, you'd be a little bit Move more lenient. Over. Shit, <laughs> just saying. Baby, you ain't you ain't doing that right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Watch out! Wow, no, but I'm curious. I'm curious to see what people would say about that. Like, if a if a if a I mean, it's a guy's question because mm-hmm. I you know for women, like if you walked in on your man with another dude, you probably I know be the pissed. other way around. You'd be pissed. Shit, serious. So like, gay men, if they know that like their partner cheated on them with a woman. They fucking pissed. And lesbians, you fucking a man, bitch. No, nah. like, so they'd be pissed off because they're like, um, the fuck? You lied. Right. So straight people, mm, <laughs> not so much. I'm just saying, okay, on the females, on the, on the female side. You though, fucking you... another dude. We're, like, hell no. I'm never okay with that. I'm sorry. And another chick is clearly a no. Well. You're, you're fucking anyone but me, and we're in a relationship? <laughs> That's a problem. But, Let me just put it but that for way. The guy, but for the guy, it's like, as long as it's right. not a dude. Y'all shit is a little gray. As so. long as it's not a dude and she's halfway attractive. Y'all good. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't like that. If I'm serious about somebody, you better not be. I don't care who it is. But I have to be serious about That's you. That's interesting. It's just, if it's just somebody I'm going out with and you, you know, I don't give a fuck. But if it's, and we've had that talk. And okay. I better not. Cheating is cheating. Right. All right. Let's continue. What was the next one? Rock and roll fans. Rock and roll fans? <laughs> I told you a lot 
like this shit is so funny when I first read just like before I read the description of what What's the justification of that? <laughs> Another affair website, Illicit Encounters, showed in their study that 41% of cheaters are rock music fans, while those who like rap were the most loyal. I don't know. Rap are the most loyal? That's what it said. That's interesting. And very. Rap music? I know. A lot of them talk about cheating oh, all they the talk time. about is fucking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and how many hoes they got? I don't know. But that's what little the, Wayne, the study said. Little Wayne said, and I quote, I got a chick in the back, I got a chick in the front, I got purp in the cup, and I got purp in the dutch. What song is this? With a, with a cash at, some oh, shit like that. But I don't fucking know. All, rap, all this rap music to talk to. Talk about, I know. That apparently. Hmm. Rock and roll, not rap. Cheating. Yes. I know rock and roll, I mean, rock back in the 80s, well, early 80s used to embody like wild partying and right. coke and fucking everybody right. but i geez. don't know hmm. rich man well well yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> duh <laughs> if you're if you're i think you know what i would take rich out powerful people well, you can do said, what you want right it said wealthier men have power and riches at their fingertips so they usually have a difficult time disassociating their career authority from their relationships that i can see that yeah but what about rich women well, you know what's funny? The very next one says poor women. It says poorer women. Okay. Poor women. Um, studies show that poorer women are more likely to cheat on their spouses than richer women, with some evolutionary biologists suggesting that this is all connected to climbing the genetic and financial ladder. I was exact. I, I would totally sense, agree. Though. I would totally agree. Because when I saw that, I was like, what? Now it makes sense. No, but see, when you were saying that, me going back to the biology classes that I had back in the day in college. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if I'm... Chris Brown is a prophet. He tells me loyal. No, no, no. But there's a particular line. When oh, a, when, a know, rich when, a, when a rich you. nigga wants you and you can't, do nothing, can't for, do nothing for her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't like to go around saying Chris Brown, Chris anything positive about him. But The picture for poor women is bogus as hell. This chick can't even comb her hair. Really? So really? Wow. The stock photos they found. They could have did a <laughs> little bit better at the stock photos. Really? She opened her wallet. <laughs> Jesus. The French? <laughs> I told you. This shit is hilarious. <laughs> they said the French. The French are known to be great lovers and deeply romantic, so it's not surprising that sex toy brand Lilo's global study showed that 75% of the French admitted to carrying. Okay, uh, they fucked up. Stepping outside of their relationships. They put carrying, stepping. I don't know what that means. Stepping outside of their relationships. The French. Wow. Won't be fucking with a Frenchman. <laughs> I'm good. We need to go to France. You gonna cheat on my ass? We should go to France. I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm. <laughs> we should go to France. The French, really? Seventy five percent. That's a huge percentage, dude. Well, I just think they're more honest. I, that's that's what that's. Yeah, like. that's what that sounds like. <laughs> oh, tall men. Wait, you skipped one. I did. Yep, social media addicts. Social media addicts. That was next. What was it? See, this thing is acting weird. Okay, what? That, how, how, how does that A work? Cyber psychology behavior and social networking study show that people who are addicted to social media or at least use various platforms much of the day are more inclined to have problems in their relationships, including cheating. I can see it though. Why? Because they're reaching out on social media to find something that they don't Slide have. Sliding DMs. Sliding in DMs. That's all I gotta say. Does this work both ways, like men and women? Because if say a guy slide in a girl's DMs, bitch, you cheating too if you reply back and you down, like yeah. Or if you slide in his DMs, so yes. Social media addicts. I mean, I'm a social media addict, and I just don't believe in cheat. Like I don't cheat. Why? I don't feel the need to. Um. So clearly, social media addicts. I can I get where they're coming from. Let me just put it that way. So before social media existed in its form, what would have been the equivalent, like in the eighties? Right. I don't know. People just spend porn a lot sites? of time talking I don't on know. the phone. Like I mean, there weren't even porn sites in the early eighties. They had porn tapes. Oh, true. I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know, but this makes sense to me though. I mean, but I mean, if- a lot of cheating ha- and dumbass celebrities actually get caught all the time. Like they'll think that they're sliding in DMs and they'll post publicly, or they'll slide in DMs, but they forget that people can do a screenshot. And people blast them all the fucking time. I have, so. to, I have to. I have to say a quick public service annou- announcement to the celebrities. You don't have great personalities. They don't like you for who you really no. are. These people are trying to make steps up. Basically, trying to be famous. Yeah. Trying to be famous. There's that. So if you give them that opportunity, they're using you. They don't really like you for the most part. Athletes. Especially Definitely y'all motherfuckers y'all. ain't that smart. Most Definitely of you, let's y'all. be realistic. You're not that smart. You got a shit ton of money, so people are looking at you like, "How can I get something out of you?" Even that girl, hoes definitely sliding y'all. Dude. Even that girl, even that girl who you know, Steph wasn't even fucking with her. Remember, mm-hmm. Steph Curry wasn't even fucking with her, but she heard that they thought she was. So next thing you know, she posting about Steph Curry because mm-hmm. she figured, "Hey, I'm finna get I'm two about minutes to of fame." On this shit. Celebrities understand something. The only reason why people fucking with y'all because you have something that they don't. It's not that they really even like you that much. Well, some do, but the ones that's coming at you like that, especially in a in a in a in a classless way, like like in fucking DMs, sending coochie shots and shit, right? And Snapchat, like no, nah, right at no. the after parties, <laughs> like no. A group of them gets pushed in by a club promoter. Come on, this, this be real. they don't really like y'all. No. They trying to they get paid up. off. They, trying to, come they up. trying to make a come up. That's what it is. You need to be smarter. But they aren't. So no, they're not. They're not. Tall man. <laughs> That's funny because you know how I feel about tall man. Well, most women like tall men. I, exactly. So that I was the point. Was... It says many women see tall men as being better. That was just wrong. But illicit encounter study also showed that men over 5'10 cheated more frequently on their partners. I just feel because they have more options. Why? Is it because they can see over the crowd and see all the pretty girls? <laughs> no. What is it? I feel like they have more options, for real. Oh, well, I guess a short if you're guy. Because if you're like 5'6 <laughs> and you got a girl, you better stick with her for liking you. That's all I'm saying. I know she... that was so fucked up what I just said, but that is real talk. Because I'm not fucking you if you're 5'6. But what if, I'm she, not. what if she's looking the other way? What if you 5'6 and she 5' whatever and she looking at the 5'11 dude or the 6'1 dude? Or the... What's a 5'6 man supposed to do then? I don't know. Oh, I know he ain't cheap because <laughs> he five six and he got him one. That don't make stick with her. I ass. would make the argument. I would make the argument that unless he has what is it, Napoleon complex? Napoleon, man. Napoleonic complex. Yeah, yeah, I would make the argument that somebody shorter would do it if they had the opportunity. Say, say well, you, if they have the opportunity, but how many opportunities do the short men have? All right, say you five, say you five seven. Right, let's just put this scenario uh-huh. out there. Say you a five seven man. You ain't really get much play when you was coming up because you was a little dude, but mm-hmm. you hit the lottery or you Only invented something or you're like a person about town now where, where people know who you are. Yeah, I think they will. Only that, though. Because you got to you gotta make up for all that lost time when the chicks wasn't paying no attention to you. Yeah, you're just making it up because now you're rich. You're short and rich. That's the only reason why people care. But I think it's I think so fucked up for short men. I really feel bad for you. Not bad enough to date you, but it's <laughs> really bad. Like it's so fucked. I up. think I think I think Chris Rock said <laughs> it best, man. It. He said most people are only as as uh, good as faithful their as their options, yeah. right? You open up those options, right? Then it's a it's a it's a. I agree. So a, if you're short and rich, yes, you have more options. But if you're just short, and average. <laughs> Hmm. No, stick with stick with the girl to get you the chance, boo. That's all I'm saying. Put some I know that's so mean. And put cut some throat. babies in there. Be nice. Hell yeah, you better get her pregnant. <laughs> all right, this shit ages that end in nine. <laughs> ages that end in nine. Get the fuck out of here. That's what it says. I swear to God. Okay, that's the last one, right? Oh my yes. That's I think be. so. It, this shit said ages that end in nine. I, you know what? Before you even read it, I can make a. a, a, a I get once they explained it. I because it, you're, it reach, makes you're reaching that threshold yes, of a new. Yeah. That's exactly what they said. So like when you're 29, oh, I got to get all this hoeing yes. out because I'm 30. But so then a you, study in the Proceedings of the Natural Academy of Sciences revealed that people who ages ended in nine were more likely to cheat. This is because people who are about to turn over a new decade tend to make decisions that can change the course of their lives. Yeah. You know what? I think back on it. <laughs> Nikki, I hate. Uh, she said you have to be Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> 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 it 
if you don't watch Game of Thrones, you may as well just turn our show off now if you don't know who Tyrion uh, Lannister is. But that's fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, Tyrion Lannister. She's stupid. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I get the logic, yes. Because uh, I look back on it. When I was younger, mm-hmm. like when I was in my 20s, a lot of the 39-year-old women was trying to, you know, mm-hmm. on that cougar shit. Yep. Like, oh, I'm about to be 40. I'm about to be over the hill. Yeah. I'm finna get this young dick while I still can. Yeah, it makes sense. Same thing with men too. Yeah, but I, men don't really need an age. Like I don't. I'm 29, so let me you know. <laughs> let me get all this. I'm six, out. I mean, look at fucking Hugh Hefner. He's 136 right now, and he's still fucking everybody, <laughs> or trying to fuck everybody. Oh my god! I only picked this one because it was funny as fuck to me. What? What the fuck is that noise? Is that an earthquake? All right, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We gotta go. I'm, <laughs> shit's moving. All right. Like, <laughs> ooh, ooh, anything else before we? Nah, I don't think so. In this, I don't think so. I'll tell you about my <laughs> adventures with this class on Thursday. <laughs> Pickle penises or whatever it is. I'll make it. <laughs> Any Fourth of July plans? Since that's coming up, I'm, I don't. I, I'm locking myself in my house and I'm writing another chapter of this book I'm working on. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Work, work, work. People need to understand it. I ain't mad at that. Nah, just, people be like, oh, you gotta go do some stuff. And it's like, uh. no. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, I don't have any solid plans other than my Purple Rain movie at the cemetery <laughs> <laughs> and sleep. So, you know, that's always great. All right. So, if nothing else, make sure you follow us on all social media Twitter at Social Misconduct, Instagram, Social Misconduct. Facebook, Social Misconduct Radio. Make sure you go and check out my Moscow Mule <laughs> recipe. It's not really a recipe. It's just some shit I put together, but I explain it. So <laughs> check that out on uh, lubelllifestyle.com. Anything else before we go? I always re- think that I'm forgetting something, and then it, it, it really don't be shit. But no. All right. Same time, same place next <laughs> week. Peace. Okay. <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B Wall, only on LA Talk Radio.